Well, hello, YouTube world. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. It's a beautiful morning here in Iola, Texas. I'm so glad to be home. It feels good to be home. There's no place like home, no matter where you're at. And you come back to it, you're just, you pull in the driveway. You know, we cross that cattle guard and we're just like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And uh, speaking of Jesus, y'all know today is a very, very special day in the life of Jesus. So keep that in mind and uh, y'all just celebrate it and uh, just, you know, be thankful for what God has given us and who he is to us, y'all. I'm just so thankful. My, my life is so blessed because of him. And I just couldn't make it without him, y'all. I'm just that person. I'm that person. So happy Easter, everybody. And I'm so glad to be back from my vacation. It, it was wonderful. I'll try not to talk too much about it. But any oh who, I'm in here this morning. Real quickly, like I want to make one of these quick desserts. And this is a real quick one that's easy to make and serves a lot of people and is uh, delicious and, uh, you know, not it's not expensive, really. The most expensive thing you got probably is a can of cherry pie filling. You know, I don't know. I don't know how much the pineapple chunks were, but anyway, that's the two things. Otherwise, you have everything else in your kitchen for this. So, this is a pineapple berry cobbler thing that I'm going to make. It's one of those quick, I call it one of them, uh, teenage, it's what I call a teenage pie. It's so easy, even a teenager could make it, okay? And that's what we're going to do. I got my oven preheated on 350, all right? The very first thing I'm going to do is I got me a stick and a half of butter right here. I'm going to put it in the microwave and get it going. I need it melted. So I'm going to get that melted. Now, these easy, easy measurements, y'all, you need you some... Uh, use you some self-rising flour if you got it. If not, you can use regular flour and put you, you know, teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda in there or something like that. And that'll, you know, that'll make it be all right. So I'm going to go ahead and just get me a cup of flour. It's so easy, y'all. So easy. I need me a cup of flour here. Let me dip it in here. And it's not, it's not science measured, so don't be trying to, you know, worry about scraping it off and getting it exactly even and that, you know. Dip it in there and get you a cup of flour, right? Okay? Now, I need me a cup of flour and I need a cup and a half of sugar. I want a cup and a half of sugar. Let me check my butter. It's margarine, y'all. You can use butter, margarine, either way. It don't matter, okay? But a stick and a half of that, remember. Okay? All right. Cup of my self-rising flour. And let me get my sugar out of here. I don't want to dip that back in my sugar because it's got flour residue on it and have flour, have cloudy tea. <laughs> I wouldn't want that. Oh. Uh, okay. Lord, y'all, I'm making a tally fay mess right off of the bat. I've got so much going on getting back from the trip that it just, oh my goodness, trying to get everything else back in order. There we go. One and a half cups of sugar. Look at that mess. Oh, y'all can't see it good. There, there it is. Okay, all right. What is that? Okay, cup of... My self-rising flour, one and a half cups of sugar. We're gonna do a pinch. <coughs> uh, we're gonna do a pinch of salt. Just gonna grab it in there. I want me just a little pinch in there to make that dough be right. Okay, pinch of salt. Don't matter. Just do you a pinch. Okay. Now let's sift all that together real quick with our little hand whisk here. done like that and now we need us a cup of milk one cup of milk y'all this is my i think i might have told y'all that that i use these uh i save my coffee creamer jugs and use them in the camper they go in the refrigerator better on the door and stuff so i put my milk and stuff in them and 
all kind of stuff in them. You wouldn't believe what I put in these things, but they're just very handy if you're a camper and want to utilize things. Okay, we need us a cup of milk. A cup of whole milk. Sweet milk, I call it, y'all. I grew up, there was a sweet milk. A cup of sweet milk. But in today's world, it's whole milk. Okay? All right, get it back down there. Just dumped it in there, right? Now we're just going to stir it up. Make our, what I call, it looks like a paste. It's almost like a... It would be a paste, y'all. I tell you what, me and my mama wallpapered while I'm stirring this. I'll tell y'all this. But me and my mama wallpapered a whole, an entire uh, bedroom of mine back years ago. We, I got me some pretty wallpaper, and uh, we used flour and water for our uh, paste to go on the wall to stick that wallpaper. And that wallpaper is still there today and hanging beautiful. Not in this house. But uh, uh, it's still there hanging beautiful, and it's been there for probably 30 years now. Flyer and water. Yep. Yep. Okay, look. Look how thin it is. See that? That's why I call it a, it's like a paste. All right. Make sure that's all stirred up really good. I got me a 9 by 13 pan here. We're just going to take it and pour it in there. Just like that. This is one of them newfangled kind of cobbler things. I done told y'all, this ain't what I call... Cobbler to me has crust on the bottom, your fruit goodies in the middle, and then your crust on the top. That's a cobbler to me. But this is the newfangled cobbler. Everybody calls this a cobbler. So we're going to call it that just to make everybody happy, okay? And it's the cheating one, but it's good. So there's our dough in there. Now, I've got me one of these big cans of a, what is it? 21 ounces. Anyway, 20, 21 ounce can of cherry pie filling. All right, where's my good spoon? What did I do with it, y'all? Oh, there it is. Okay. We're going to... Oh, my goodness. Wait, I want to do my butter first. Not that it would have really mattered, but... Let's take that melted butter, okay? And we're going to just pour it all in here like this, okay? Just pour it on top of it. Just like that, okay? Now, I'm going to put my fruit on there. Okay. Now we're just going to take our fruit and spoon it on there, just like this, okay? Just like this. And do not stir it. You don't stir it, okay? Now, y'all, you can use any variety of canned pie filling that you want to make this. The main thing is making your little dough thing, just like we made it. And add your fruit. And that's all you got to do. This is so wonderful to have for a dessert for these gatherings like you're going to be doing today. Easter Sunday. What a beautiful, beautiful, blessed day. Okay, there's that. Now, I've got a 20-ounce can of pineapple chunks. I'm just going to take them. I'm just going to do them like this. All over it. I can probably do it with my hands better than I can this spoon, y'all. Make them more even. A lot faster. I'm going to reach in there and do it like this. Look. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, there's a lot of liquid juice in here. And I'm probably going to put it in there. But let's, you know, we'll see when I go to dumping it in there. There's a lot of liquid in there. But it ought to make it good and gooey, right? Pineapple chunks. Now listen, if you, what I would have normally is the crushed pineapple in my pantry. I had the chunks, but I tell you what, they ought to be good in it. So you use a 20 ounce can of pineapple 
whichever one you have, okay? And like the crushed one, you can just spoon it out of there like I was doing, juice and all. Because we're going to put this juice in here. I can, I can tell it already. There we go. I'm going to do it just like this, y'all. Look. That's a lot of liquid, but it ought to, it ought to just do just fine. Now, the last thing I want to do, I'm going to get me, and you figure out how much you want to put on there. But I'm going to put me some sugar on it, y'all. I got my scoop. And I'm just going to go across the top of it and sprinkle that sugar. All on the top of it like that. That ought to work. One nice big scoop. There we are. That's how easy that is. Teenage pie. <laughs> so, that's going to be that. I'm going to put it in the oven. You know, we're going to... I don't know the time. Because I just watch it. But, uh, we'll just put it in there and let it do its thing. You know, and it, just say an hour, give or take or whatever. And I'll try to remember to tell you what I did in my oven. But, it's going in, y'all. And, it's going to be good. It's a pineapple cherry cobbler. So, I am so happy to be back, and I have missed y'all so much. And I love you guys and all the sweet comments and everything when I was able to get signal. I could not get signal for nothing unless I went up on top of the dam. And then sometimes I could, sometimes I couldn't, you know. So, but anyway, everybody needs a break every now and then, right? We're going to put this in the oven, and I'll see y'all after a while. Pineapple cherry cobbler. Alrighty, y'all. I had it in there for about an hour and five minutes or so. So, a lit, just a hair over an hour in my oven. And, uh, really the reason I did that was I had it on the lower rack baking, uh, for the most part of the time. Like the last, uh, 10, 15 minutes or so. 15 minutes. The last 15 minutes, I took it out and put it up on my top rack so I could get it to brown like I wanted on the top, Okay. So, really and truly, I mean, like I say, it was about an hour and needed that five more minutes just to, right, you know? But it turned out pretty. It looks good, y'all. Not that it's a pretty thing, but... Okay. Now, let's take a bite. Show y'all up close. See, it's got all the... Oh, there we are. I want y'all to see. See, like that. So, it's got the gooey in there and the crust part and stuff, so... Let me see. Y'all. Yeah. It's delicious. I like the pineapple chunks. It gives it a another piece of texture in there, right? Y'all, I ain't playing. This is some good stuff right here. I got to quit eating on it so I can talk to y'all, right? One more bite. Mm-mm-mm, mm-mm. And putting that sugar on top, that gives it, a little crunchy. That helps with a crunchy crust because it candies on there. I think the sugar on top is a necessity with it. But otherwise, it is absolutely perfect, y'all. It is absolutely perfect. There's how it looks down in there. Look at that. Very easy to make. Very delicious. And they'll eat it up, right? They're going to eat it up, y'all. It's pineapple cherry cobbler. That's the dessert in Tally Face Kitchen today on this Easter Sunday. I got one last thing I want to show y'all. Let me back it up so y'all can see it, I hope. But somebody very special to me got me this. I wanted to wear it in my video, but because it's white, I was afraid. And, you know, cherry, hello, right? But y'all look at this. They had these on Facebook, and I seen one, and I thought they were the cutest things. Look at this. Can you see them? And it's like a sweat, it's, it's a, built like a sweatshirt, but it's a, it's a different kind of material. Anyway, this thing is so precious. Look at it. Like that. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Thank you, Linda Ray. I love you. Anyway, I wanted to show y'all that. Like I say, I wanted to wear it today. 
Aren't those just adorable? But I didn't want to get cherry pie filling on it or something. And y'all know I'm messy. <laughs> All right. I love y'all. Everybody have a blessed, blessed Sunday and everything. I'll be back after a while. I got to do two more videos this evening. For sure one. Hopefully I can get the second one in there too. But uh, it's been a wonderful day so far. A uh, very blessed day. And, and uh, remember, Jesus is the reason. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Stay blessed. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.